20 years ago, I met with a group of pastors in China. This is, I actually arranged the meeting. And I asked for uh, pastors that had been in prison for a long time. And so I sat with this group of pastors and they'd been in prison for 10 to 25 years, really giants of the faith. And, and one of the things they told me has just stuck with me for forever. And because I asked them about persecution and they said, persecution is a gift. They said, kind of like, don't get me wrong, persecution is not a gift that we would ever give to anybody. We, it's not one you ever want to receive, but it's a gift nonetheless because it keeps you pure. It keeps the church pure and it keeps us close to God. Persecuted church is constantly teaching us about real Christianity and I think that is desperately needed uh, because I would say that what we experience for the most part in the West as Christianity is fairly dumbed down. But it's the persecuted, what happens is that the, a life of intense suffering and pain, if you allow it to drive you to God, uh, produces this great dependency on God, this great closeness with God. And that's where they've, they've just been to the well and they go down deep and what they bring up is just pure treasure. And honestly, it's beyond persecution because it's, it's the suffering. It's the suffering and that dynamic where it drives you to God. Uh, that's what produces the great Christian, the great leader, the great teacher. And so again, it's beyond persecution. One of those people that I think about here in the West is Joni Erickson Tata. I don't know if you know the name, she's fairly famous um, in terms of Christianity, but she had a diving accident at 17 and she was left paralyzed. And with an enormous amount of suffering uh, and pain, and just weariness, and she's, she's very transparent about it. And that's part of what's so winning about her. It's not a rah-rah, we could do this, let's go. Uh, she's very transparent about what she's been through and how hard it is and how really she longs for heaven. This woman, I, I can't begin to tell you, uh, you really need to experience it for yourself. And I've got a link uh, coming up here in just a second. I want you to watch this thing. It's kind of long, it's probably about 45 minutes, but this is must watch TV. If you're a Christian, it is so powerful. And like I said, I think the overlay with uh, the message from the persecuted church is just perfect. So anyways, thank you for caring about your persecuted brother and sister. Enjoy, God bless you.